plan was not to freeze it. <laughs> My loves, I seriously, desperately, desperately need your help. So this is the problem. Over all these years, it has come to my attention and to my notice that, you know, just learning how to sleep is something that I'll never do because how is it that I'm waking up with a painful neck for this do how many, a hundred times this year? Please, if you have any tips that will help me be a better sleeper, please, please, please just share them with me because my body is in excruciating pain, especially my neck. Please, please. And I'm not even joking. Please, I will really appreciate. I will appreciate. Anyway, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. First things first, if you are new to this beautiful, awesome space of ours, Karibu Sana, you will definitely, definitely love it here. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, babe. Welcome back. Anyway, eh? even before I go on with what today's video is all about, I'm sure by now you have already read the title. Thank you so much for the support that you guys have been showing me. And I don't take it for granted, as I always say, for just w taking the time to watch my video. Comment, like, share. I don't take it for granted and I appreciate it and I appreciate it. And by the way, if you meet me out there, please feel free to say hi. Please. Yeah. Yeah, feel free to say hi. Anyway, guys, I'm doing the most highly requested video. Now, I'm not joking. <laughs> I've gotten like a few questions of my subscribers asking me about my skincare routine. So I thought, I mean, it's a matter of time. It's been a hot minute and I thought, why not come on here and do just that? So that is what this video is going to be about. And... Uh, keep in mind that I am doing a very detailed skincare routine that I normally do on Sunday. And even before we, we get to that, uh, it is important that I let you know that my skin is oily and sensitive. So, of course, the reason I'm letting you know is because this also influences my choice of products. So, before you choose to maybe go and purchase the product that I'm using, please, 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 please know your skin type please that is very very important so see we get to it let me first remove this nose ring i've actually not done anything on my skin so situanze so first things first we of course have to cleanse and this is the cleanser that i normally use Ooh. it's actually the CeraVe cleanser i don't know why it's not even focusing but it's the CeraVe cleanser for normal to oily skin. That is what I use on a daily. So let me just uh, wet my skin and I'll be right back. My loves, I had to mute this part of the video and do a voiceover instead because there was a baby crying in the background. Anyway, I was just trying to tell you that I normally use one to two pumps of the cleanser. And this is just me going in trying to get all the dirt out using my fingers and I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. I rub all the cleanser in with my fingers for about 30 seconds. I like to go in with this facial cleansing brush. This I got from Dubois, Amani Dubois for 350 shillings and I just love how it gets all the dirt in there. Once I am done cleansing my face for 60 seconds, I just go ahead and rinse it and repeat the process again for 60 seconds. 
I don't really use a timer for the 60 seconds, I just estimate. When cleansing for the second time, I like to ditch that facial brush and just prefer going in with my fingers and repeating the whole process. Please don't forget your neck and chest. I didn't do that in the video because I had my microphone clipped in, but this is something that I normally do. So please, 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 please don't forget to go all the way to your neck and chest area. And then when cleansing, by the way, something that I forgot to mention is make sure that you're doing it for at least 60 seconds so that you give the cleanser enough time to just work on your skin and penetrate. So guys, once I'm done cleansing, now it's always time for me to scrub my face. And this is the scrub that I normally use actually alternates between this one and the one from is it Ghania? i don't know how to pronounce that brand but most of the time i just prefer to like just use chemical exfoliants but since i've said like today i'm doing a detailed skincare routine this is basically what i do so for the scrubbing part especially using this mechanical scrubs it's something that i do maybe once a week because i'm always using the chemical exfoliants that i'll be showing you so yeah i try to be super gentle with this uh part because if you are too if you go all in without being gentle these particles i don't know if you can see them they might end up pricking your skin so try to be super super careful with this process as you try to remove the dead skin of course make sure you extend it all the way to your neck and and chest so once i'm done exfoliating the next step for me is to steam my face and this is the tool that i normally use this team i actually got it from kilimall a few years back i think for was it three thousand i'm not i'm honestly not sure but it has really served me well and i love it but in case you don't have this it is perfectly okay you can just uh boil your water and put it in a bucket then steam it for me, I'll, I'll be steaming my face for 10 to 12 minutes because I have sensitive skin, so I don't want to overdo. So let's get right into that. So this is me just loading the steamer with water. So I'll go ahead and connect this qua socket and give it about a minute to heat up. And then it has this temperature regulator. So once it heats up, the water i mean once the water in here heats up this is what i'll be using to regulate the temperature depending on what i'd like the water has already started boiling so time to just steam our face and get those pores opened i had to keep on turning my head and neck just to ensure that the steam was reaching every part of my face you can choose to cover your head with a towel as well just to make the process efficient but since i was feeling extremely hot i chose not to Whew, that steaming process was really really refreshing so the next step that i like to do which is once a week and that is on sundays for me I since I get a lot of whiteheads, I normally remove the whiteheads with this cartoon over here. And yeah, I didn't throw the packaging despite the fact that I bought this tool like was it two years ago from Kilimall? And it was going for about 3,500 at the time. Not true sure about now, but yeah, it's a multifunctional cleaning instrument. So let's just remove that. So this is basically what the tool looks like and then it comes with this Woo! sorry it comes with it comes with five of these 
suction tools that are replaceable so for this for these tools it just depends on what you want it to do for your skin so i prefer going with this because i normally feel like it just removes all the whiteheads in there and it just works for my skin so this is what i normally use so let's just load our tool and get to it have you ever like tried pressing your nose if the upwards and then it removes some white stuff those are the whiteheads that we're dealing with right now oh i also forgot to mention it's rechargeable by the way so But the one instruction that comes with this tool is that when you're using it, your skin has to be moist. So I normally use rose water with cloves to just make my skin moist. So I've just mixed it in here. This is uh, rose water, then the cloves. So because I, I saw on TikTok that cloves are really good for the skin. So. I decided to try it out. So when when let me switch that off for a while. When using this tool, uh one of the warnings that we are being given is do not use it more than five minutes a session on your skin and then don't use it on dry skin then it is also recommended that if you have oily skin you can use it twice a week and you, if you have uh, normal to dry skin you can use it once a week but as i've said i prefer to use it once a week yo these are a lot of white heads let me show you guys you see the whitish the whitish stuff that you're seeing whitish yellowish all these white heads i'm telling you keep in mind i extracted them last week on sunday so it's been a week and we still have like a lot of them well that is that is why i love this tool i love this tool because you know it clearly gets the job done so i'm already done with the extraction part and as you have seen i did have a lot of whiteheads thank goodness that is out of the way i've already like extracted them so i'll just go ahead and rinse my face and then we can now use our castle powder mask for a few minutes before we now put the sheet mask so far, I'm loving how my skin is feeling. So this is my castile powder. And I prefer using rose water to just create a paste out of it. I know I use rose water so many times, but it is what it is. <laughs> So guys, I've already done the masking with the Casil powder. So I'll wait for 10 minutes so that it just sits in. Then after that, we can go in with the sheet mask, which is actually in the freezer because I want it to give me that cooling effect, you know. I just want to feel nice, pamper myself, you know. <laughs> I know I look funny at this point in time, but oh well. Hey, Mr. Pooley, won't you just see right through me On the dying days when I ask for forgiveness Or my soul Yeah, time to rinse this off. So I've already rinsed off the castle 
and removed the sheet mask from the fridge. This one I got from Dubois, Dubois, Dubois for cash, uh, for eight, uh, for 80 shillings. Yeah, for 80 shillings. So yeah, let's mask our face. But first things first, we need to tone. To tone my face, of course, I'll be using this rose water toner with cloves. I normally alternate between this one and uh, the salicylic acid one. Let me just show you. So these are the two cleansers that I use. This one is an exfoliating one. This one does not exfoliate. I know there are people who prefer to use uh, cotton wool when applying their toners, but I don't. I just use my beautiful fingers. <laughs> yeah, onto the sheet mask. So, let me tell you. Eh? Uh, if you are fond of eh, that aeroplane, hey, what you know, I'm a Jew shoot video. Anyway, uh, these sheet masks normally have a lot of extra fluid in it so what i like to do is transfer the excess in here so that i get to use it as a serum in the course of the week man this thing is frozen hey hey them will you overdo oh it's frozen guys it's frozen Okay, I've managed to remove it. So, in Tangoja, you unfreeze. Then I'll transfer. Is unfreeze really a word? Me transfer the excess fluid into the tin that I've just shown you. Ah, this thing is so cold. Excuse my voice. I'm going to put it but... My intention was not to freeze it. <laughs> I'm telling you, the neighbor playing music doesn't want me to prosper. Anyway, I got this facial roller from Dubois, Dubois, and it comes with this one. I don't know what this thing is called, but it was going for 450. Since we are all about being economical, please don't throw away these wrappings with the fluid inside because this, you might want to use this as your serum in the course of the week. Is it serum or serum? I, I don't know. I had the sheet mask on for about 20 minutes and it was time to take it off. So this is me just gently massaging the excess onto my skin and extending that onto my neck. I decided to use this fan to make the drying process faster. As you can see, the skin is already looking youthful after removing the sheet mask. So let's just moisturize. Just go in with this moisturizer that I got. There's a shop that I normally get it from and it's normally 800.
for sunscreens i'm currently using these two that i keep on alternating that is the CeraVe mineral sunscreen and the aloe soothing cream i like to use the aloe soothing cream more i don't know why but they are both lightweight and non-greasy have an spf of 50 and are good for sensitive skin and they don't leave a white cast as well So this is the what is this is this thing called by the way to be honest i'm not sure about the name but i know for sure that it is like a facial roller somehow because not sure about i mean about the name exact name for this one but for the sunscreens that i've just shown you these are the two that i use here take karibu kuisha so they, they both don't leave a white cast and they are also good for sensitive skin. However, with the CeraVe one, I found that it leaves your your face like it is a jot. I don't know how to phrase it. Like all of a sudden you just start feeling hot, but it still gets the job done. Apart from that, I mean I'm okay with, with it. So let's gloss. I think. It was because of cheering. So these are the products that are constant in my routine, meaning that I use them every single day or a good number of times. So first of all, this one remains constant because this is my is the cleanser that I use on a daily, the CeraVe one. And then after that, I either tone using this. This is a salicylic acid toner. So for this, of course, you know that you must have sunscreen on. Anyway, with or without AHAs and BHAs in your routine, you still have to wear your sunscreen. So I either use this or this. This is the toner that has been gracing my show. The, the rose water with the cloves. And then, so if I'm using this, I will not use this. And, the, and vice versa. Yeah. And then for my moisturizer, this one is also a constant. And then for my sunscreens, we have these two. And then I also introduced uh, treads into my routine because i do have some spots in some places so i use this like twice a week now this is the thing if i use this toner during the day for example i won't use this during the night so i keep on alternating and i can't use these two on the same day yeah so that's just about it and then since i've stored my excess fluid from the mask in here i'll be using this as a serum this week oh and then what i've also forgotten to mention is that i also use castile powder as part of my cleansing routine also thought i'd mention that in your routine please try and minimize uh mechanical exfoliation as much as possible by that i mean using uh scrubs on your face for me i i do but i do it uh in a limited way because i still have like this chemical exfoliant in my routine so i try as much as possible not to use scrubs sun because they end up pricking your skin but all in all it just depends with what works for you because what what works for me won't necessarily work for you Sindo. Yeah, that's just about it. I'm hoping that you did enjoy this video. Thank you so much, so much for the support that Mekwam Kinyonyesha. Oh wow, that aeroplane just had to. Eh, watuenu wa na kuja. Anyway, thank you so much for the support that you have been showing me. In case you love my content and you haven't subscribed, please, please feel free to subscribe. 
like share and and leave a comment what other type of videos would you like to see on on my channel unachua just engage with me and trust me i will respond i will respond so let's have a conversation down there and in case you haven't talked to me on instagram what are you waiting for eh? i'll leave my handle somewhere here or here so that you can go you know stalk a girl follow me like my videos and yeah i'll catch you guys in the next one now sana 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 Sana, and I thank God for you guys.